hello guys and welcome back so in the last video we created we added a theming to our application now let's start with our home screen so first let's remove this uh, button switch uh, list tile so first let's create a setting screen so let's right click here then let's create a settings screen dot dot then here let's type the stf for state for widget let's do settings screen so inside the settings screens here what we're gonna do is just let's go to the home screen and then copy everything from the scaffold here then paste them here then let's come back and then let's get everything up here let's just cut them and then paste them here then we can import these then the setting screen is done we can come back and change everything later on so uh, back in the home screen what we need to do is uh, let's remove everything inside the scaffold here so let's start with the up bar so here let's give it an up bar so up bar and then you can see that uh, uh, copilot is giving a suggestion let's go with them but it's also telling us to toggle between the themes here okay so this is not what we want here we don't want to change the theme in the up bar so what we can do is in the actions here let's uh, we can put the user image okay so let's do let's remove this icon button and then let's say circle circle avatar and then you can see that copilot is suggesting for us let's go with it and so it says background white which is uh, not what our oh, background color is white and then image icon we don't want to have an image icon here so let's let's remove this what we want to have here is a uh, first let's specify the this is a circle avatar we don't want to have a child here what we want is a background image so the background image let's let's have uh, the default image if the user doesn't have anything so let's put that and then let's put the radius so the radius can be or oh, 20 we'll see how 20 will look and then what else uh, we don't even need the background color here we can remove this background color so for the background image what we can do is have uh, let's minimize this i have this user icon on my desktop i'm going to copy it and then come back to the application and then here on the root let's create right click and then create a new folder so this folder i'm going to name it assets And then inside the assets folder i'm going to create a new folder this one i will name it as images okay so inside the images now i can paste that so i can paste that so let me just get from the desk what i will do is i'll click this and then review in explorer so here's the folder and then what i'll do is i'll minimize and then since i've already copied it get inside the images and paste okay so now that i've pasted that here i can close that and then bring back the application so if we go inside the, the images here's the user icon okay now we need to go back to pubs.tml file and then down here on under assets let's uncomment these assets and then let's also uncomment these images then bring this up to here the second s then we want to go inside assets slash 
images okay like that we want to go inside assets and then images okay then i'm going to close that so that it will save and then here now i also need to create a asset manager class okay so let's come back here on the lib right click and then new folder let's name this as you uh, we can name this as utilities utilities okay so inside the utilities here you can right click and then create a new dot file so this one let's name it as assets manager dot dot let's say class assets manager so inside here i'm just going to get a static const string so it's saying it's it's getting this from uh, images copilot has already assisted us here and then here we're going to get now this user image you can see that copilot is already getting us so let's getting it for us so let's click tab so it doesn't know really what is its name is so that's why it's saying this logo what we need to do is this let's name it as a user image and then we are getting it inside image under the name which is called user icon.png not this okay so we need to say user underscore icon and then dot png okay so that's how we are getting this icon okay so we can close that asset manager then come back here now we can say uh, asset image and then here we can call our assets manager dot user image this one okay so let's add the constant keyword here all right so what else so this will be our image so it's complaining so we need to add the constant keyword here okay and then remove it here so this will be our up bar and then next after the up bar here we can now add the body so body you can see that uh, copilot has assisted so let's enter and then let's see how our up bar is looking like so we need to stop the application and run it because we have added up this new assets image okay so let's stop it and run it so there is our up bar i have to apologize my kids are making noise in the other room there i hope they are not too noisy in this video so now here is our abba maybe let's change this to 15. all right and also let's add some padding here you can do padding there so maybe we can keep this as 20. yeah that's fine so if you want for the title you can put whatever title you'd like so the, this is going to be our bar and then next we want to put tabs down here so for charts for group and uh, uh, the other one is uh, people where you can find people to chat with okay so let's do that so after the body here what we want to do is a uh, bottom navigation bar and then we can have a bottom navigation bar so you can see copilot is already assisting us here okay so let's go with it and then we change what we need to change so let's click on tab and then tab again so uh, copilot has put the first the items to be the home and the settings okay so let's see what it has put here what we will show so it has put home and settings 
but we want more okay so what we want to do is uh, let's add uh, the rest so first of all let's come to here this home let's change it to charts let's change this to charts and then the icon let's change it to let's remove this icon let's use the cappuccino icon okay so inside here let's say cappuccino icons dot chat uh, bubble to field this one and then what else let's get uh, here where it says settings for us we don't want this we want our cappuccino cappuccino we want to say group which is group this one and then let's change this text to groups and then we want one more we can copy that let's paste that and then also let's maybe put commas here so here we want to have a uh, cappuccino icons which is a uh, called globe yeah and then uh, here we want to say people let's hot restart yeah so we want icons like this okay so on top here let's remove this that's not what we want and then uh, now we have these okay because there was uh, that on top let's hot restart now this is what we want these three icons okay now this uh, current index we need to specify it if we come back on top here we need to create an uh, int int and then we can say a uh, current index which will be zero so now here instead of this we can say a uh, current index and then on top here we can set the st state to current index so uh, let's let's remove this and then let's set the state so current index will be equals to index and then now we can print maybe here print uh, index okay or oh, let's print the current index let's what restart once again and then when we bring up the log so this is index zero this is index one then this is uh, index two and then also let's let's maybe change this to let's not make it field let's remove the field let's what restart okay now we are on the current index okay the next thing is now to show the screens here once we click on the groups we need to show the screens for the group screens for the people then screens for the charts okay so we can remove this uh, com this print statement let's show the what we need to show here so here inside the body so let's remove this and then let's return a page page view okay so copyright has already assisted us here so we can click tab now we are going to show the the charts groups and home inside here once we click here but to show them we need to have a page controller here so let's go up here uh, up here let's have a final page controller so page controller we should be our page controller and then let's have our initial page here which will be zero and then here now we can now bring our 
controller here to be our page controller so this children is uh, complaining what is it says so it sh uh, this should be last so let's cut this from here and then right after this let's put the children and then to animate this page once we click here we need to put uh, here on our own tab we need to animate okay so let's put that so i've seen copilot is already knows what we want to do it's page controller dot animate so let's click tab then let's just put a comment animate to page okay now let's go to restart so we can have that now let's try to click you can see that we're animating to group to people so you can see now that uh, this is working but now we need these three screens to be separate okay each needs to be its own class because there is a lot of functions that's going to be happening in the charts in the groups and in the people so for that let's go here on our main screens and then right click the new file so the first one is going to be the charts charts list screen dot dot okay so this one is going to be let's type stf for state for widgets and then charts charts list screen so this one now we can first for now we can return a scaffold and then the board the center which says charts so let's copy this scaffold let's create another one here so this will be our groups screen dot dot let's type stf groups screen we can copy that scaffold here i mean paste it then let's create another one which will be people screen dot dot then stf we have a people's screen screen like that and then we can paste that scaffold here great so this let's change it to people then let's go in the group as well change this to group groups okay so now if we go back to the home screen instead of showing this we can create the list up here so let's say uh, final list and then now here you see, can see copilot is already assisting us so let's click tab so it's getting the list from here what we want is to get the list from our screens here so let's click this first one will be chats list screen and then the next one will be group screen then the next one will be screen and then now uh, here instead of uh, these children let's show our pages great now we can hold restart we are still going to have the same results but we have changed these pages to the individual screens okay now we can still change here to have these pages okay great so this is uh we will end this video right here so we have created the ui for our home screen so thank you guys and uh, see you in the next video